Ah, continuation tayo ng median. Yeah. Okay. Estimated median given as the formula. Yeah. Um, estimated median or MD is equal to lower boundary of median class then plus N over 2 minus F sub M minus 1 all over F times class width. No? Class width. Yeah. Yeah, dali meron tayong uh, class intervals dito na 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 9, and 10 to 12. Meron tayong apat na class intervals. Then, frequencies natin 3, 2, 4, 3. Then, cumulative frequency 3, 5, 9, 12. No? Ano po yung, ano po, ano nga po ulit yung ano natin, yung class sa ano natin? Yung median class natin, saan po nakalagay? Saan pong group nakalagay? 7 to 9. Ah, sa 7 to 9, siya nakalagay. No? Ano po yung lower boundary nung 7 to 9? 7 po. Ah, well, okay. Ah, mali po. Bali, ang 7 is lower class limit. No? Then si 9, si upper class limit. Kapag sinabi natin lower class boundary, boundary, itong 7, ayan, ayan, itong 7, ipa-plus nyo sa upper, upper class limit ng preceding uh, class, no? preceding class intervals. Bali, ang mangyayari is 7 plus 6. 7 plus 6, Divided by 2. Seven plus six divided by two. Wala pala ang kausap dito. Ten po, sir. Uh -huh. Six point five po. Ayan, six point five. Ayan, andi na sa baba o. Oh. Pakalagay na po sa baba. Bali, ang gagawin nyo, si lower class limit ng median class, lower class limit ng median class, i-add nyo sa upper class limit ng preceding class. No? Bali, yung bago mag-median class, no? kukunin nyo yung upper class limit niya. Bali, 7 plus 6, 13. Then yung 13, i-divide natin sa 2. Kaya ang lower boundary natin is 6.5. Iba kasi, mali kasi yung magpa-minus lang tayo ng 0.5, then magpa-plus tayo ng 0.5, ay yung tinuturo sa atin. No? Pero kunin natin yung talaga paano makuha si lower boundary. Yun. Bali, lower class limit plus upper class limit of the preceding class, then divided by 2. Bali, 6.5. Total number of data natin, 12. Ayan, dyan na po. Then, cumulative frequency of the class intervals, yung bago, yung mag... Uh, cumulative frequency bago mag-median class. Ano po yung cumulative frequency bago mag-median class? Five. Ayan, five. Then, frequency of the median class, ilan po? Yung frequency? Four. Ayan, four. Then, yung class width, ilan po yung class width? Three. Ayan, three. Bali, ten minus seven, three. Four minus, ah, uh, seven minus four, three. Four minus one, three. Bali, andyan na po lahat ng given natin. Ang kailangan lang natin, isa substitute, uh, isa substitute natin lahat ng given sa formula. Okay. Estimated median is equal to L or lower boundary which is 6.5 ito po yun n over 2 ayan 12 yung n natin 12 divided by 2 ayan minus 5 yung uh, community frequency ng preceding class ayan then frequency of the median class 4 then class width 
Tri. Bali ang gagawin natin dyan, uunahin natin yung right side ito. 12 divided by 2, 6. 6 minus 1, at 6 minus 5, 1. Then 1 fourth is equal to 1 fourth. Ano pong decimal ni 1 fourth? 0 0.25 or 0.25. 0 0.25 times 3, 0 0.75. Then 0 0.75 times 6 point, uh, plus 6.5, ang lalabas is 7.25. Okay, thus the median is approximately 7.25. Okay, thumbs up po tayo kung gets natin. Thumbs up. Kapag hindi na gets, magtanong. Okay, di syempre, may tanong? Di syempre. Wala po. Sure ka, wala? Bautista, may tanong? Wala siya. Ayan ha. Chua, may tanong? Uh, sir, pwede paano po yung paano po ulit na ko yung 7.25? Ayan. Kapo sa akin eh. Okay, okay. Bali, paano nakuha si 7.25? Yung lower boundary ng <coughs> ng median class. Paano po nakakuha si 6.5 ulit? Iaat nyo si lower class limit ng median class sa upper class limit ng preceding class. Bali, 7 plus 6 13 divided by 2, 6.5. Plus, total number of data natin, 12. Then divided by 2 as formula. Minus 5 kasi 5C, cumulative frequency ng uh, preceding class bago mag-median class. Kapag sinabing preceding class, bago mag-median class. No? Ayan, bali 5. Then, frequency of the median class. Yung median class natin is the 7 to 9. Ano po yung frequency niya? Yung katapat na frequency, 4. Kaya po, 4 dito. Then, class width, yung 3. Yung size ng isang class interval. Ayan, bali. Ang uunay natin is yung right side. Ito po. 12 divided by 2, 6. 6 minus 5, 1. 1. Then, ang matitira, 1 over 4. Ano po yung 1 over 4 sa decimal? 0 0.25. Then, yung 0 0.25, i-multiply natin sa 3. Magiging 0 0.75. Then, si 0 0.75, i-add natin kay 6.5. Kaya po nakuha natin si 7.25. Okay. Thumbs up po tayo kung gets natin. Okay. Chua, okay na sa'yo na? Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Give, uh, example number one, given the, the frequency distribution table below, in which class interval does the median lie? Yan palang malalaman na natin kung nasa ng median eh. Ilan po ang total ng frequency natin? Total number of frequency natin? All to oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait po. Natapos na yung ano natin. Stop sharing. Okay. Ilan po yung total number of uh, data natin or frequency ulit? Okay. 47. 47. 12 plus 10. Uh, 12 plus 10 plus 9 plus 16. Ayan. 22, 31, 47. 47. 47 divided by 2. Twenty three point five four. Twenty three point five. Then kunin natin si cumulative frequency. Yeah. Cumulative frequency. Ang unang frequency is twelve. No, twelve. Then plus ten, twenty two. Plus nine, thirty one. Plus sixteen, forty seven. Na asan jan yung cumulative frequency na mas mataas sa n over two or twenty three point five mas mataas sa 23.5 then pinakamalapit sa 23.5 31 ayan 31 
So that the median class lies on the class interval 26 to 29. Ayan po. Yung katapat na 31, katapat ng 31, sila po si median class. No? Thumbs up po tayo kung gets natin. Ayan, very good. No? Next, example number two. Complete the frequency distribution table below and then locate the median class. Ayan. Ano po ang cumulative frequency natin sa una? Five. Five. Sa pangalawa, ilan po? Nine. 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 Bakit naging nine? Kasi in natin si five plus four. Then nine plus three. Twelve. Twelve. Then last is twelve plus one. Thirteen. Bali, ang cumulative frequency natin, wait. Ah, wait lang. Lagay na natin para. Bye. <coughs> okay, body 5, 9, 12, and 13. No? Ayan. Body 13 divided by 2, ilan po? Thirteen divided by two, ilan po? Six point five. Six point five. Nasan jan si cumulative frequency na mas mataas kay six point five, then mas malapit kay six point five. Nine po. Nine. Nine po. Okay. Then our ano? Our median class lies on the class interval of. 410 to 419. 410 to 419. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Looking at the community frequency, the N over 2 should lie within the class interval 410 to 419. The median class. Median. The value that lies in the middle, in the middle when a set of data is arranged in order. Ayan. The median class, the class intervals that contains the median. Community frequency, ina-add lang natin lahat ng um, frequency. No? Hindi total number of frequency, ah. mga preceding classes ang ina-add natin. No? Frequency ng preceding classes. Okay, next. Ayan, estimated mean, ito yung formula natin. Mode of group data. Pakibasa po. Uh, mata. At the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to accurately compute for the estimated mode of a group data and accurately use the estimated mode in analyzing and interpreting statistic data. Okay. Modal class. The class that contains the highest frequency. Diyan po sa example natin, ano po ang highest frequency? 4. Ilan po ang mode natin? 2. Kapag, kapag dalawa po ang mode, ano po ang tawag? By modal po. By modal Okay, very good. <coughs> Since we have two classes within the highest frequency, um, those with four frequencies, our modal class are 9.61 to 9.70 and 9.71 to 9.80. This means that our mode can be either in those classes or in both, no? Pwedeng isa sa kanila or pwedeng dalawa sila. No? Ayan. Estimated mode. Uh, formula natin. Estimated mode is equal to L or lower boundary of the modal class plus M, uh, FM or frequency of modal class minus frequency of the modal class before uh, frequency of the class before the modal class. Then, uh, F sub M plus 1, 
frequency of the class after the modal class. Yung isa before, yung isa after. Yung minus 1 before, yung plus 1 after. Then, yung W is the class with the width uh, of each class. Ayan. In our data, we have two classes in the, with the highest frequency of 4. Hence, we have to calculate the mode for two classes. Okay, example, first modal class. Yung first the modal class. Ayan. <coughs> okay, paano po natin ulit kinocompute si lower boundary? Si lower boundary po, paano natin kinocompute? Okay, mata. Sir, yung upper class po mo ano, tapos yung ay yung lower class po tapos upper class ng preceding okay. okay tama 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 naman ano pa na ayun lo ay yun nga sir lower class limit po plus upper class limit ng preceding class tapos yeah. divide po sa yeah i-add natin si lower uh, lower class limit ng uh, modal class then upper class limit ng preceding class no modal class na po ah kasi mode na po ang pinag-uusapan natin no <coughs> bali 9.61 min uh, plus 9.60 uh, 9 divided by 2 okay po paki-compute nga po sa inyo sa mga cellphones niyo ano po ang lalabas 9.61 plus 9.60 divided by 2 9.65 po. 9.605. Tama ba? 9.605. Opo. Ayan. 9.605. The lower boundary of modal class. Then, frequency niya, 4. Yung frequency before the modal class, ito, yung 9.51 to 9.60, ang frequency niya, 1. Frequency after the modal class, since the next class is also a modal class, we move one step down further. No? <coughs> Di natin pwede kunin ulit si 4. Na paraya sila, di ba? Paraya sila. Hindi na pwedeng kunin ulit. Kaya ang kukunin natin yung kasunod na frequency, which is 1. Ayan. Then, class with, no? Ang class width natin ay Yan, i-minus nyo lang si 9.91 kay 9.81. Si 9.81 kay 9.71. Then ang lalabas diyan sa lahat ng yan is 0.10. No, ayan po, 0.10. 9.71 minus 9.61 is equal to 0.10. Bali, meron ka ng given sa lahat, no? May lower boundary ka na, may frequency ka na, may frequency ka na ng modal, uh, ng, ng class before the modal class, may frequency ka na ng class after the modal class, then may class width ka na. Ayan. Bali, estimated mode is equal to lower boundary plus frequency of modal class minus frequency of uh, the, uh, frequency of the class before the modal class over two times frequency of modal class minus frequency of the class uh, before the modal class minus frequency of the class after the modal class. Medyo marami lang siyang formula, merong marami, mara, marami lang siyang symbol, pero kayang-kaya isolve, no? <coughs> Bali, 9.605, ito po si lower boundary of modal class, plus 4. Bakit po naging 4? Yung F sub M. Bakit po 4 si F sub M? Bakit po 4? Mata? Sir, hindi ko po maintindihan naglalag. Okay. Bali ganito, no? Okay. Kaya naging 4, si F sub M, kasi siya yung frequency ng modal class. 
Di ba kanina, ang highest frequency natin is 4. Bali siya si modal class. Bali 4 yung sinabstitute natin kay F sub M. Minus 1. Bakit 1? Yung F sub M minus 1. Kasi yung mode ng preceding class 1. At kasi yung frequency ng preceding class is 1. No, yan no. Yan. All over 2 times 4. Bakit 2 times 4? Kasi 2 times frequency of model class. Minus 1. Bakit 1 ulit? Kasi nga, ayun yung frequency ng class uh, after the model class. No? Okay. Next is minus 1 ulit kasi siya naman yung frequency after naman. After. Hindi naman before. After naman ng model class. No? Then times 0 0.10. Bari, bali, 4 minus 1, 3. 2 times 4, 8. Minus 1, 7. Minus, uh, minus 1, 6. Bali, 3. 3 over 6. 1 half or 0 0.50 times uh, 0.10 plus 9.605 ang lalabas is 9.655 or kapag niround off natin 9.66 therefore the first estimated mode is 9.66 okay thumbs up na po tayo kung gets natin Sure kayo? Gets? Sinong nag-lag para maisa-isa natin? Alfred. Alfred. Simon. Abanilla. Abanilla. Lopez. Pero. Nak, ano, gets mo ba nak? Mojado, Abila, Siyembre. Baka may tanong kayo. O, basta ang L is lower boundary of modal class. FM, frequency of modal class. F sub M minus 1. Frequency of the class before the modal class. Then... F, M, F sub M plus 1, frequency of the class uh, after the model class. Yan, bali, lahat ng value nila, sinabstitute lang natin sa ating formula. 9.605 plus 4 minus 1 over 2 times 4 minus 1 minus 1 times 0 0.10. Kaya po ang lumabas is 9.655 or kapag inestimate natin or ni-round up natin, 9.66. Okay. Therefore, the first estimated mode is 9.66. Thumbs up nga po tayo kung gets natin. Okay, very good. The second model class, parehas lang naman. No? Parehas lang naman. Magkakaiba lang doon sa class interval. No? Ayan. Bali, 9 point, pakicompute nga po, 9.71 plus 9.70 divided by 2. Pakicompute po, 9.71. 9.705 po, sir. Yeah, 9.705, ayan po. No? Then, frequency of the modal class, the highest frequency is 4. And frequency before the modal class, syempre, since the previous class is also the modal class, we move uh, we move one step further. No? Bali, dahil 4 to ulit, 4 to, hindi to pwede. Bali, aangat pa tayo ng isa. Bali, ang mga kuha natin is 1. Ayan. F sub M plus 1 is equal to 1. Bakit? Frequency after the modal class. Yung after naman ng modal class. At yung model class natin, yung kasunod niya, yung 1. Kaya 1 yung frequency nun. 
Then, class width ulit natin is 0 0.10. Substitute lang natin, 9.705 plus 4 minus 1 over 2 times 4 minus 1 minus 1 times 0 0.10. Ang lalabas dyan is 9.755 or kapag niround up natin, 9.76. Therefore, the second estimated mode is 9.76. Okay, ulitin ko ah. Lower boundary natin, 9.705 or 705. Then yung frequency nun ng modal class natin is 4 minus 1. Bakit minus 1? Kasi yung frequency ng class before, before the modal class is 1. Yan. 2 times 4 kasi 2 times frequency of modal class. Minus 1 kasi... Yung F sub M minus 1 is the frequency of the class before the modal class. Then minus 1 ulit kasi minus F sub M minus 1 or frequency of the class after the modal class. Ayan. Then times 0 0.10. Bali 4 plus 1, 3. 2 times 4, 8 minus 1, 7 minus 1. 6, 3 over 6, 1 half, 1 half kapag decimal siya, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 0 0.10. Then kapag nakuha niyo yung result niya, i-add nyo sa 9.705 or 705. Ang lalabas is 9.755 kapag niround up mo, 9.76. Therefore, the second estimated mode is 9.76. Okay. Thumbs up po tayo kung nag-gets natin si mode of group data. Magkuha ng mode of group data. May tanong wala. Okay. What's the model class in the given frequency table below? Anyone? Napakadali. Modal class. Kapag sinabing mode, yung may pinakamaraming frequency. Nasaan dyan yung class interval na mayroong pinakamaraming frequency? Leslie Ramirez. 23 to 45. Ayan. 23 to 45. Kasi ang frequency niya is 65. Then 65 ang, ang pinakamataas na frequency sa lahat ng frequency. Okay. The model class is the class with the highest frequency. Thus the model thus the model class is 23 to 25 with a frequency of 65. Okay, example number 2, the following uh, frequency distribution uh, distribution below uh, distribution table below estimate the mode class interval natin 202 299, 300 to 399, 400 to 499. Then yung frequency niya, 6, 8, and 10. Nasaan dyan si modal class? Anyone? Mata? Sir, yung modal class niya po ay nasa class interval 4, ay 300 hanggang 399. Okay, dahil siya ang may pinaka highest frequency. <coughs> Okay. Ay, 10 minutes na lang tayo. First, locate the modal class. Ito yun. Ito na yun. Nakuha na natin. Then, the modal class is the class intervals 300 to 399.6. It has the highest frequency of 8. Based on the frequency, frequency distribution table, we'll, we are able to obtain the following values. No? Okay. Lower boundary... Then, frequency of model class, frequency of preceding class, frequency of succeeding class, then class width. Huli natin. Paano ulit kinukuha si lower boundary? Lower boundary of model class. Paano kinukuha? Ah, Garcia. Yung ano po, yung leading... 
interval ay leading value po nung ano nung sa modal class po. Mm-hmm. Basta sir 300 plus 299 po. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I divide uh, po. po. Okay, ang ginawa doon, tama naman yung sinabi niya, ang ginawa doon is inad natin si lower class limit, lower class limit ng modal class which is 300. Then pinlas natin or inad natin sa upper class limit ng preceding class which is 299. Then kapag inad mo is 500 599, no? Then i-divide mo sa 2. Ang lalabas na Uh, lower boundary natin is 299.5. Then frequency of modal class 8. Siyempre kasi siya ang pinakmatas na frequency. Frequency before the modal class. Bago mag modal class. Ano po yung frequency? Ano po yung frequency bago mag modal class? 6. Then ano ang frequency after the modal class? Seven. Ayan, bali. Kaya nakuha dito si 6, then si 7. Si 6 before the modal class, si 7 after the modal class. Then class with, ayan, minus lang natin si 300 sa 200. No? Ayan. Si 400 sa 300, pwede rin. Si 399 sa 299, pwede rin. Si 499 sa 399, pwede rin. Kapag minus mo yon ang lalabas lang is 100. Then pwede mo nang i-substitute sa ating formula. 299.5 plus 8 minus 6 over 2 times 8 minus 6 minus 7 times 100. Bali, 8 minus 6, 2. Then 2 times 8, 16 minus 6. 10 minus 7, 3. Kaya naging 2 third to. Itong mahaba na to, naging 2 third na lang. Then times 100. Then nung tinimes sa 100, nagiging, naging 66.67. Then inad siya sa 399.5. Then ang lumabas na mode natin, estimated mode natin is 366.70. Okay, thumbs up po tayo kung gets natin sa example number 2. Yan, okay. Yan. 299.5 plus 8. Ito yung, yung 299.5, siya yung lower boundary of modal class. 8. Siya yung, ano po si 8? Siya yung frequency of modal class. Yung 6, siya yung frequency before the modal class then 2 times 8 kasi 2 times frequency of the modal class then minus 6 frequency before the modal class then minus 7 frequency of the uh, frequency after the modal class then times 100 yung 100 class width or yung class size natin then 8 minus 6 2 kaya 2 yung nasa numerator dito Then, 2 times 8, 16, minus 6, 10, minus 7. Bali, 3. 3 ang nasa denominator. Kaya, 2 third na lang ang natira. Times 100, ang lumabas is 66.67. Then, kapag inad mo siya sa 299.5, ang lalabas is 366.70. Okay, thumbs up nga po ulit tayo kung gets na natin si example number 2. Okay, very good. Okay. Yeah, thus the approx uh, the mode is approximately 366.70 mode uh, value that appears the most frequent or common in a set of data model class kung saan uh, the class interval that contains the highest frequency. Kung ano yung pinakamataas na frequency ay in po si model class. Yan, ito po yung formula for uh, estimating mode. Then, ayun na po. Tapos na tayo sa unit 2.